late to sign up? We've one slot free for anyone willing to play the Skellige deck. Yes, a face no ointment could help. I assure you, Skellige is just as strong as the other factions. It shall soon be considered canon. Of this, I'm certain. I don't know. Always been an Ilfgaard man myself. I must give it some more thought. Geralt of Rivia saw a notice about a Gwent tournament. By all means, you've come to the right place. I am Count Martin Monnier, organizer in chief. Our tourney is more than mere diversion. We've a mission, see, to spread word of my brother's brainchild, Skellige, a new Gwent faction. These new cards, tell me something about them. Their design embodies the Isle's spirit, the rage-filled potency, the rough, brutal beauty. Famed Skelligers, heroes of lore, berserkers and beasts, ogle us from the cards. Bran Twirsek is the faction's leader, of course. And the other famous Skelligers? Yalmar and Serison Crytek, naturally, though not conjoined. Also Hemdal the hero, the venerable druid Ermion, the list goes on. New deck? Where to get the idea? I mean, why bother? All Beauclair knows me as a great lover and promoter of Gwent. My brother, dead for some time now, was known to be the same. We shared another great passion, travel. Spent a great many years at sea in our youth, marking out our territory <laughs> in multiple corners of the world. Yet the one that truly grabbed us by the stones were the Skellige Isles. The stormy sea, consumed by a fever, a suicidal awe, dashing itself against somber cliffs. That is the image I retain. It and others like it inspired my brother to devise the new faction. The tournament. Where do I sign up to play? Right here with me. I have one slot open, but there's a condition. You must use cards of the Skellige faction. You see, I've already asked a great many seasoned players to do the same. Alas, all fear novelties, disdain process, care too much for the climax for winning. So they insist on playing with their tried and true decks. Long story short, you need a sucker who will risk it. Take a stab at proving Skellig is no worse than the established decks. Best way to do that'd be to win this tournament using your brother's cards. We understand one another perfectly, I see. Behold this trophy. Standing stiff and strong. It could be yours if you win. Mm, not bad. Could look great in my house. On the sideboard, maybe. All right, I'll give it a shot. Play using the new faction. That is an exceedingly good rub to my loins. Just one small adjoinder. I can only provide you a basic Skellige deck. My brother, alas, gave away or lost many key cards. No chance I can win the tournament with these cards? An issue easily resolved. You must simply face local Gwent competitors, win the missing cards from them. Besides, it would be very good practice for the tournament itself. Here, the cards I can spare. Take them, please. The rest I keep for myself. I do intend to play as Skellige. Already got a good enough deck to play in the tournament as Skellige. Might I have a peek? You do indeed. Come back in two days' time, then, for the start of the tournament. Eat, drink, and be merry. Thus spake the prophet. There you are. A pleasure to see you again. The Skellige faction, how do you find it? Honestly? Not one of my favorites. Hmm. Yet I believe you will easily win the tournament wielding it. Any specific tournament rules? Mind giving me an overview? 
Firstly, might I introduce the contestants? Superb Gwent players all, hailing from the world's farthest corners. Hamal Ochen Dankbari, an Ofieri merchant. Eric van Frog, a patrician from Novigrad. And lastly, we are proud to welcome a Skelliger. Ye blind? Not Skelliger, Skelligirl, damn it! Naturally, no offense meant. Agnetha Skolt, her effort charming isle temperament in evidence, along with assorted beats, baubles, ropes. As to the rules, they're simple. Each player adopts a faction they cannot change for the tourney's duration. Lose a match, and you're eliminated. The winner from among you shall advance to the semi-final to face the winner of the tourney's previous edition, His Excellency the Ambassador of the Empire of Nilfgaard, Master von Hin. The winner of that match shall in turn face none other than me, your humble servant. Hand off our Gwent! No new fucking factions! Mind telling me what factions the others will be playing? It is no secret. Eric van Frog will play the Northern Realms. His Excellency, in a flush of patriotism, chose Nilfgaard. Hamal Ochendagbali will play the Monster Steck, and Agnetha Skold has chosen Skoyatel. Yours truly, of course, shall await the winner with a Skellige deck. I'm determined to prove its value. Protesters have gathered outside. Quite a few, it seems. Hands off our bloody game! We didn't want any new factions! Money, you dozy cunt! Stop doubling with dwarven tradition! Change cannot always please everyone. Gwent traditionalists resent my efforts to expand the canon to include Skellige, but we shall pay them no mind. Ready to start if everybody else is. I invite you to join me on the terrace. The Herald shall soon announce the tourney's start. Let the tourney begin! In round one, Agnetha Skult faces Eric von Vrog, and Geralt of Rivia plays Hamal on Gangbali. Let's grab a table. A wager would you wish to make? What did you have in mind? Weapons do I collect, and your sword of silver my eye has caught. Should I win, I should take it. Should I lose, to you another equally precious shall I give. All right. So be it.
major sword against you, why not? Clearly to guide me, the universe ceased. Here, you may not serve well. I'd never have lost if you hadn't cheated. And my land, folk who slander like that don't live long, because we don't let them. Accuse me of cheating again, and I'll cut your tongue out. Enough. Hands to yourselves. As Gwent is a gentleman's sport, we expect all its players to demonstrate impeccable manners, and we cannot tolerate any disturbances. Thus, by decision of Count Monier, the contestants from Novigrad and Skellige are hereby disqualified. Gentlemen's sport. Well, I'm a lady, and we ladies don't give a flying fart about a tourney where any measly prick can accuse us of cheating. With round one completed, the standings are as follows. Agnetha Skolt and Eric Van Vrog both disqualified. Geralt of Rivia has defeated Hamel Ongenbali of Ophir. In the semi-final, Gerard shall face the defending champion, Ambassador Von Heen. I am honored. was mutual, I assure you. Congratulations, Richard. Stop desecrating Gwent! De de any and all new factions! Seems there's some trouble brewing. Scoot, Olius! Off your asses and hide to Skellige! Yeah, I love it, seal slappers. Please remain calm and stop the verbal attacks. Stop your mum from fucking ferrets, Monier! And hands off our Gwent! Maybe instead of hollering threats, you ought to just explain what it is you want. We've said it plenty of times, yet no one ever listens! 
got me listening. Gwent's an ancient pastime, as rules were set ages ago. Exactly. Determined in keeping with the laws of nature. There should be four factions. That is the optimal number. Will not tolerate the introduction of any others. It would disgrace the tradition. Aye, leave our Gwent the fuck alone. Enough of this! Then come here to Java but to bring fucking heat in defense of tradition! Come on, lads! Come on! Then I'll ring that fucking soul Fuck! That's one for the rest of his days! I'll cleave the cunt when you dance on the bench! Careful when I'm fucking you do it! You want to trust your nerve? Then I'll ring that fucking soul hard! You'll drop past one for the rest of his days! Let's warm this new faction out of the horse's heads! I'll cleave the cunt when you dance on the bench! Off a bit. Look, seeing triple, quadruple even. Enough! I shall summon the guard. I got this count. Sure, you can shut this tournament down, but there'll be another with who knows what new rules. If you don't like them, don't enter. Play somewhere else, however you want. But you'll never stop other folk from playing however they like. Bollocks! Like my good friend Zoltan Chive says. One says you're talking bollocks, they could be right, they could be wrong. But if multiples say you're talking bollocks, well, you probably are. So let's take a vote. Who else here thinks I'm full of it? Zoltan Chive! I haven't seen that rascal in ages. How's he doing? Zoltan's just fine. Attention, everyone! Our outing's taken a new turn. We're to sit and drink vodka with Sultan's pal. Gentlemen, wait. We've still the final round of the tournament to play. Final? Fuck that! Aye, Yaki Raffiberg, to hereby declare my participation in this tournament. And I demand to play the victim. We'll settle whether this Skellige faction worth a flaming bag of shit once and for all. Agreed, but please show some patience. We must first play a pre-final. In the uh, pre-final, Count Monnier, representing the Skelliger faction, shall face Geralt of Rivia, also playing with a Skelliger deck. My brother's dream has come true. Skelliger in the final and played by both contestants. Good luck.
nations. The best man has won, playing the best faction to boot. Thanks. Good game. Skellige won. What a bundle of pish. Tournament's not done. No, that's my turn. That is what we agreed. Let us resolve our differences here and now. Now to determine the ultimate victor. Geralt of Rivia, playing the Skellige faction, shall face Yaki Raffiberg, playing Skyatel. Let the better man, or dwarf, win. Blasters. What hurts most is fucking Skellige one. But as they say, top shit. Congrats. Come on, lads. Let's get soused. No, you must stay, for I wish to treat you all to a tipple. We must toast the premier of the new faction. And if anyone wishes to play a friendly match of Gwent, I see no reason why not. Thank you for everything, Witcher. No problem. Had fun. You proved yourself a true Gwent master. Here, the grand prize. You earned it. Thank you very much, Count. Thank you once more for deigning to take part in my little tournament. I hope we shall meet again. Who knows? Farewell. The jaw-dropping Van Combe awaits a challenger. Which, uh, surely you have the and care to test right. and demonstrate. Let's dance. Do you wish to jump in? Considering it. So you're not surprised. Consider this as well. Here, intellect counts as much as strength. You see, Mancombe is no ordinary fighter. Mancombe? First I've ever encountered that name. One should never judge an opponent by his name. 
Master Mancom is a saddler, though a valiant one at that. His blows are as fierce as his reposts are sharp. Fine. Let's start. Oh, my knees quake like a carnival rattle. Let's get on with this ridiculous battle. I'm a top taunter, the best around, not one to be beaten by some inbred hound. Your taunts? I've heard dogs wretch things more profound. Hear how pathetic and stupid you sound. Well, how then is this for a clever tongue twister? You're a bum-butching, black and bile-filled blister. Think you're confused. That sounds more like your sister. I'm immune to disease, but even I'd die if I kissed her. You aren't worthy to empty my sister's bedpan. You mange-ridden mutant, not even a man. Should have quit before we began. Gonna make you wish you'd turn tail and ran. Why, you... bad... Uh, uh, I've got to admit, you know how to roast a man. You win. Mean we're not gonna fight? Why? I told you, you've won. The Witcher wins, beating Mancombe at his own game. You out-tongued me, but only because I'm under the weather today. I'd have lashed you raw otherwise. Right, sure. Two more champions to defeat before you can challenge the Maestro. Still Waters is to be found in Oatville, not far from Mount Bank Alley, while Colossus fights in the largest courtyard in San Sebastian. <laughs> Ask the Witcher, a man of action, a man of valor. Are you not? Would you care to challenge Still Waters? Shall you face off against Still Waters? Shall you? Shall you? Like to know who I'm punching. This knight won't reveal his name or face, won't say anything at all, not a word. Rein in your curiosity, sir. A knightly vow is no idle promise. Still waters shall conceal both face and crest until such time as one defeats him. So, will you fight or not? I challenge you to a duel. <laughs> Noble lords and virtuous ladies, another fight is soon to begin. Gentlemen, the Witcher defeats the previously invincible Stillwaters. And what about it was? Freed of his vow, the knight can now show his face. Your blows are strong and true. My congratulations. Thanks. Have you naught to add? I'm a woman. No wry remarks? What for? It's the 13th century. Nothing peculiar about it. Women own taverns, run farms, and fight. Will you not claim there was no honor in fighting a wench? No. I'd expect to hear that from someone who was afraid to lose to a woman. 
Now only Colossus stands between you and a chance at the Maestro. San Sebastian, that's where you should go. Look for the largest courtyard. Come here! Yeah, Never you! The air here is such a woman. Remember that? Oh. No. Hey, Master Witcher, will you face Colossus? Folks say Maybe those of your guild pack up under a sponge. Yeah. Oh, now you look to be a man in search of exertion. Hey, White Locks, do you dare to fight Colossus? Colossus? Interesting as monikers go. Or is that what his mother called him out of the womb, too? Why would she not have? Colossus, it rings out with pride and passion. So, will you fight? Fine. Let's fight. Ah, boring. I'm not interested. Quick I am. Too quick for you. It'll be knick-knack, patty-whack, kiss your arm bone. Where's the sport in it? Don't want to fight? Why bother looking for challengers then? Wasting my time. Whoa, a bit testy, are we? A witcher, right? Let's do it like this. You parry three blows I throw your way, you win. But you can't swing at me, not once. Just deflect my blows, got it? Catch three of them, and I'll toss you double your wager. Feeling that generous? No, I just know you can't do it. No one's ever done it. Too fast, see? So, willing to try for three blocks? Fine. Doubt I'll have any trouble deflecting a few blows. That I get. At long last, one with a sportsman's soul. Now, listen. The rules say you're not to start your parry until I've cocked my fist. Standing with your guard ups, not allowed. Ladies and gentlemen, witness a most peculiar fight. How shall I say this? The Witcher has accepted a colossal challenge. The Witcher has parried Colossus's blows. No one's ever managed that feat. Here's your due. Thanks. You've earned my esteem, sir. We've not seen such a feat in years. And thus, you've secured the right to challenge the Maestro himself. You'll find him by the docks. That's that white ruffle. The wizard Nothing doing. They say he's no slap to them all down. <laughs> Still Colossus and Mancombe. You either drink with us or you're against us. Is this where I find the boxer they call the maestro? Maestro, champ, the undefeated. Folk call him many things. You are the witcher who dropped the three lesser champions? I am. Come to fight the maestro, but seems to me he's indisposed. Alcohol is the maestro's remedy for his crippling shines. He's a delicate man, you see? He'd never so much as hit a pillow while sober. Fighting sobers like dancing to silence. Hey, hey. Forget fighting. Sure you can stand? You're blind drunk. Not sure bum in business. Ah, you cheat, you chat while my vodka's gone flat. Will you fight, yay or nay? Let's go. I challenge you. Hold on. Whoa. I am a man of principle. I keep to a code. I don't tinkle where I eat, and I don't fight folk who don't drink. Meaning? Meaning you're to drink, or hey diddle diddle out of here. Yeah! 
Sheesh. Fine. Mesdames, messieurs, the maestro will perform at last. Let's do this. Not happened in years. Your fists, they're glorious. Thanks. I'm gobsmacked, I am. I have to drink it off. Oh, good fight. To speak through, I'm pleased you stripped me of the title. I shall have more time to pursue my chief interest now. Witcher Geralt of Rivia is hereby crowned Fisticuffs champion of Beauclair. Bravo! Behold, your trophy. A life without liquors like loving without licking. <laughs> <laughs> 